Welcome back. This time we're checking out Murder by Words, a uh, subreddit that I recently discovered, so let's hop into it. <clears throat> so apparently Tarantino is as savage in real life as he is in real life. When I asked Quentin Tar uh, how he wants us to play two aging movie guys who were in on their way out, he said, just be yourselves. <laughs> Apparently, like, uh, even, like, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is, uh, like, 45 and Brad Pitt is, like, in the, in his uh, 50s. So, I suppose that's fair enough. But they're gonna just gonna have different roles eventually, but they're good actors. <laughs> oh my god, Quentin. I challenge any gamer, ma uh, game maker, to come up with a game that rewards kids to be empathic. To situations involving other players uh, game characters and rewards them for kind gestures and behaviors and also positively reinforces kindness politeness and constructively can uh, problem solve that's actually like obviously that's coming from a person who doesn't know about video games but those are obviously like she's like taking a stab at the video game industry but those are very well uh, put uh, points. Uh, Journey, Undertale, uh, Stardew Valley, an entire Fallout series, uh, Minecraft, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, the vast majority of role-playing games that made by BioWare. I would say just the vast majority of uh, role-playing games, period. And adventure games. Uh, would you like uh, recommendations? I can keep going, Penny. Uh, we can find one to suit your taste, I'm sure. I mean, I think this was uh, uh, well put, in a way, for someone who is uh, so obviously obvious, uh, clueless. Like, you want to reward uh, behaviors, not just uh, force them uh, into that uh, path. Because a lot of games... Maybe, I shouldn't say a lot of games, you know. Like, you do have, uh, like, violence as an option as, like, a very obvious fun gameplay mechanic. Obviously, I'm not suggesting, like, it causes violence in any way, but... Uh, but, like, it, it just kind of the simple way. But, like, adding in other options, that could be very rewarding, and I genuinely want to do that. So, uh, I'm taking this way too seriously, but uh, she's obviously wrong. But I, I do believe uh, video games have a very important role to play although not necessarily games that you know like fortnite you know they do have a, a social aspect to it but when it comes to the most influential influential games i could think of for me that would be adventure games and role-playing games although i do very much enjoy strategy games and more social games uh but that that's with others and uh Strategy games, like, very logic-based games. Like, very logic-based games, not necessarily, like, alone, but, like, with other players. That could be, like, you know, card games or just strategy games. You know, that's like, oh my god, how am I gonna do that? that that's the problem-solving aspect. But when it comes to adventure games and uh, role-playing games, there you have, like, almost, like, reading a book. But you're, like, you're not, like, reading a book, but, like, like living a book in a way. You're, you're writing your own story. And that's a very unique experience. Uh, more unique than just uh, problem solving uh, with strategy games or like logic games and uh, more unique than just enjoying like some shooter uh, with friends so I think like uh, the gaming industry has a lot to offer even though it is uh, recently known to be a little scummy <laughs> trying to get even more and more money but I do very much uh, uh, value video games and uh, anyone who doesn't really pursue them as a hobby or just like kind of gives them up I, I think you're just like missing out because uh, there are some awesome games out there that this I, I hold this opinion of many things like books you know TV shows movies whatever like there there are many many medias out there and you can't just like you know sphere them off you know like there's gonna be something good in it most likely and uh, you gotta give it a shot They also have poor swordman skills. <laughs> Millennial dads have a pathetic, uh, pathetic uh, DIY uh, skills compared to baby boomers. Baby boomers have a pathetic uh, blacksmithing skills compared to uh, ninth uh, century Saxons. Why this could be? 
well, thing is, uh, society very much moved away from, uh, well, kind of moving away from uh, physical labor. And, like, you need, like, a university to do uh, jack shit. And even if, even if you're making good money, uh, guess why you don't have good DII skills? It's because you can't have good uh, <laughs> do-it-yourself skills if you actually don't have a home to work on. And when you're, like, renting a place, you're just like, hey, something's broken, I guess, fix it for me, I guess. Because fixing it yourself, they would never pay for that, so someone's gotta come and fix it. So you can't fix your house if it's not your house. But that said, I, I like to think of myself as a person who can actually get shit done. So, like, when it really comes down to it, I can just, like, hey, look it up and fix fix my problem. Not a problem. But, you know, you see, people can't fix homes they don't have, you know? I, I think the millennial dads... Uh, <laughs> are getting uh, a little bit called out here for no reason. But I would generally agree with this statement. <laughs> When your fake ID works, that's because you look for 34. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. I find it hard to believe. I, maybe it's a joke, but I find it hard to believe that... Uh, uh, I mean, that, that seems like a, a real age. But it does seem like some women tend to lie about their age. <laughs> what the hell? What do you expect? At, at very best, best case scenario, I suppose, for you, is that you lie about your age, you get laid, but, I fucking, uh, newsflash, uh, you, you would get laid anyway. Then later, you get disqualified for lying. So, big win, question mark. In 20 years, our kids are gonna look at uh, pictures of us and tell us how stupid we all look in our Ultra boosts and track pants. Why 20 years? You look like an idiot now. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so true. The kind of pictures people take. It's like, god damn it. It's like, you just see like, what is this shit? Am I just not getting it? I, I guess. Am I just a cranky guy? Who's like, doesn't take uh, Snapchat pictures with like, looking like a cat or shit like that. I don't know. Not like I would be like super against it, but like I just don't see the appeal. So, <laughs> CEO of Wall Street Bank that took 25 billion bailout warns of socialism for everyone else. Oh, that's a long list. I don't know if I'm gonna read that. <laughs> long list of bullshit. Uh, not not bullshit. Just like. Uh, solid points but when you want to know what people really like I guess you can pay attention to their actions that that's not necessarily gonna reflect their intentions but like you know if they take 25 billion and they just talk talk crap like it doesn't really matter you know like ultimately you just look at it it's like I don't want to get political here that's why I'm a little uh, careful <laughs> but I guess you can be straight up, you know, like, you can just say, like, fuck poor people. How should I respond to my boss who fired me uh, via email and let him know that I'm very disappointed that he did not have the courtesy to do this face to face? We work uh, from uh, different states, but always communicate uh, through video calls. <clears throat> Dear boss. Thought you want to know someone has apparently hijacked your email account. The hacker just fired me. Obviously, transparent attempt to make you look like a gutless, spineless, cowardly, sniveling weasel, a cretin, lacking the nuts to man up and look uh, his people in the eye while stabbing them in the back. But I'm certain we'll all have a good laugh over this in the morning. Talk to you then. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Gets in the last punch. <laughs> Guys live in apartments like this and don't see any issue. <laughs> it drives women crazy that men uh, can just sit and be happy. To 
be fair, I see that, and I don't see much of an issue with it, other than the fact that he's actually using a console, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that is what she's uh, pointing out. Like, what the fuck? Where is the PC here? Like, I understand. Like, you probably would want a extra chair just in case you want you have company. I see that. Maybe a table, you know. But it seems like he does have a counter behind him, which is totally fine. And this, other than that, it seems pretty minimalistic to me. So that's that's a plus. So a big ass, so uh, just couch, uh, sofa, whatever. <sighs> like, yeah. He could have more uh, sitting spaces, but who knows? Maybe he has like a bunch of chairs uh, on the side that he can just uh, whip out whenever there's a party. And other than that, he's mostly just like hangs out himself. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't really get this whole materialistic, just have a lot of shit mentality. If anything, if you ever move, you just realize that, you know, that there are not that many things that are important and you can't take too much video in the first place. So, well... Okay, maybe not move, but like, you know, let's just say Lee had like two bags, you know, what would you take with you? Just just for the, just as an experiment, what would you take? <laughs> That's a sweet apartment, but it's a console scrub, so high five, that, 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 that guy's a loser. Steve Irvin was killed while harassing a ray. He dangled his baby while feeding a crocodile and wrestled wild animals who were minding their their own business. Today's Google Doodle sends a dangerous, fawning message. Wild animals are entitled to be left alone in their natural habitats. Checks up the guy! You're like a kid who wasn't invited to the party but came anyway and shed in the pool just to get a reaction? Peter. I think... I don't know. They, Peter... Could stand for something, but man, they ju they just can't. They just c cannot, cannot, cannot contain themselves. All they would need to do is like uh, promote, or maybe not just promote, but like fund. You know, like uh, alternatives to meat. Like if that's what you want, uh, that's probably gonna do a lot, a whole lot of good. I'm not sure about wildlife. Like obviously, you just want to make sure that animals don't die but at the same time i know humans if a bunch of animals like imagine like chickens imagine if chickens became completely pointless uh as part of the because uh because you can have like chicken meat and it, you, at like 10 to the price so who would who would have chickens i guess i, I guess chickens kind of have a point because they can have eggs and maybe, maybe they're gonna have a point for that. But the point is, like, if we have a very viable and cheaper replacement for animals, I think animals are start will start dying uh, out even faster. So it's not like, oh my god, I'm just gonna have like chicken pets, or all the farm animals are gonna live with us. I know that like ultimately, like animals not existing is not the same as as uh, like being in that, uh, like having that treatment. But come on, Peter. That's just not the way to do it. Uh, who the hell is running Pete at this point? Whatever. <clears throat> what is an actual sub for serious flat earthers? <laughs> Mental illness. <laughs> oh man. But that's actually a good example. God damn it. Like, no matter where you belong, like, the internet allows you to just uh, find your community, you know? Like, if you're a flat earther, you know, and, and, and wherever you are, you know, there is a very high chance that you will not find a like-minded individual uh, nearby, or maybe not a lot of them. Uh, but on the internet, it could just seem like everyone is crazy for not being a flat earther. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are like, you know, there are groups where tens of thousands of flat earthers come together. And uh, and from that point on, you like like everyone else seems a little crazy, right? You know? Because that that's what you hear. So 
yeah, you gotta be a little bit careful with uh, Reddit's echo chamber. Because there are definitely subreddits here that that are pretty crazy. And even this subreddit, as I'm, as I'm scrolling through it, and uh, a little bit struggling to find very engaging uh, uh, topics, is that it, it, it's very, very political. And Americ, uh, American politics, obviously, because uh, uh, Reddit mostly cares about uh, America. A guy asked me out today, and I told him no, but I wanted him to try harder. Why didn't he try again? <gasps> A girl asked me out uh, what I wanted, uh, asked me what I wanted for lunch, and I said pizza, but I really wanted steak. Why did she bring me pizza? <laughs> Do you see how stupid the question sounds? That's how your question sounds. <laughs> this this kind of bugs me. That our culture in that way is just totally fucked up, and and you know, and, and I really shouldn't generalize because it really just comes down to individuals, and and it it's always should be about individuals, you know. Like if you like someone, you walk up to them, hey, I like you, you know, let's do something, or like let's hang out, you know. That's simple as that. You don't even have to say it's a date, you know. It doesn't even have to be a date, like you know, like I have a good time with you. Let's just see where this goes, right? And uh, if you can't do that, uh, I I don't think you're ready. Uh, at least you're not ready by my standards. And if you just play stupid games, uh, you're definitely not ready. <laughs> God damn it! I actually was looking at uh, some uh, uh, on the Data is Beautiful site, and apparently some Tinder statistics that uh, the women were sending, uh, like one woman sent out like no no no, I looked at like ten thousand profiles, and only. Uh, only swiped on 10% of them, and out of those 10%, 90% of them actually uh, matched with her. Holy shit. And the guy uh, basically sent the same thing. Uh, he sent out uh, basically 80% of uh, right swipes, and out of those 80%, he only got 1%. <laughs> now you can make the argument that maybe he wasn't the best match, or I don't know, but I think that would be a kind of dick... You can just make the argument that maybe he, he, he was, uh, she was more appealing, but it's still kind of fucked up that uh, uh, <laughs> the guy the guy basically got nobody. That's kind of fucked up. The, the dating game is a totally different. Anyway, uh, wow. Uh, I don't know. It really shouldn't be about the genders, you know? If you just like someone, just tell them, you know? Else you're just not ready. That sounded with a good joke. My mom has a photo of me in her wallet, not and not of my siblings. She said whenever she faces an obstacle, she looks at my photo and the problem disappears. I felt really touched till she said. She also uh, tells herself, what other problem can be bigger than this one? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Talking smack. But this is amazing. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you can you can do it. Like you've done done shit in the past, you can do it. Like there's nothing harder. Apparently, I, I was told than raising a child, and I I haven't experienced it myself, but I can imagine it. So holy shit, Sudo. Ah, <laughs> uh, you have a great mom. All right, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.